Hi! In this video, we'll be testing and reviewing this masking fluid. So, what is a masking fluid? It is a liquid used for masking areas with a brush to protect them from application of color and it can be rubbed off with your fingers and leave no mark. This is Lefranc and Bourgois Masking Fluid, 75 ml. I got this from Shopee. I'll be putting the link of the shop down below. And this is only for 345 pesos. So how do you open this bottle? To open the bottle, you just push down and then twist as shown in the picture in the cup. Silicon brushes, you can get this uh, like gummy texture. You, you can just easily remove it to clean your silicon brushes at the end. Get my silicon brush to see the consistency of this. So this is opaque. Let's test this to a scrap paper that I have here. So we'll check this one. And then, what if we try to put very thinly? It's very foul smelling, so I We'll just let this dry. Took me around 3 minutes to let it dry. I use a heat gun to facilitate the drying process. So this is the thin one, the medium, and the thick one. So there's a, there's a bubble that erupted there. Uh, it, this has a, like, a gummy texture to it. And now, let's put this to the test. Mm -hmm. So, according to the... Usually, this is used for water, by watercolor artists. I'll show you a portion. This is what the dot looks like whenever there's no masking fluid. So that's how it will look like. Let that paint dry for a while. Now that this is dry, let's try to remove it. So I think there was no, no part of the paper that was torn apart. Now let's try the medium. Okay, some piece of paper with a little residue. This is the thick one. Oh, there, there's minimal tearing. So I think it's most ideal to use a thin layer of the thin layer of the masking fluid. 
Okay, so let us now try this to the different types of paper. So let's start with watercolor paper. So what we will do is we will stop an image. So I divided this into three. One uh, with water-based markers and here is for the blank water-based markers and alcohol-based markers. For the first one, we'll try this with mento ink. Okay, so we have our mermaid there. And then, we'll try to put some of the masking fluid. Very thinly applying to the tail. I'll just put the masking fluid all over the tail here using my silicone brush. So there are two ways that you can color the or apply the masking fluid. You can either use a silicone brush or a regular brush. Later, I will show you uh, what to do with the regular brush. So water-based markers, we also do the same. I want to see if it can destroy the colors that you put in already. So this one is blank. This one, you just put some onto the tail of the watercolor, water-based markers. This is colored in zig, real brush pen. And this one is colored by Copic markers. So our goal here is to cover the tail because we'll be putting, stamping a rock over it. If you like this video so far, please give this a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell as well to be notified of our new uploads. On brush, you can use a regular brush but be sure to use the old one, not the new one. To be like me. this there you go the tail of this mermaid so the hack that I found that you can do to avoid destroying your paint brushes when using with masking fluid is that you can uh, dip it uh, wet your brush a little and then put it put a little coating of soap just like what I did here and then you just dip the paintbrush with the soap into the masking fluid. That way, uh, it kind of protects it from the masking fluid. Okay, so now that it's dry, let's put on a stamp. 
So, the masking fluid dries clear. I'd appreciate it more if it has a stinge of color for me. Well, that's just my personal opinion. So, we'll try to put a rock under her tail. This should look behind her tail. If you have not done it yet, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe now. Push that button. Push that button. Let's, let's color this big brush pen over it. I will not color uh, Copic markers on top of this because it might destroy my markers. And I don't want to risk it. So I'll just use watercolor on the rock of the alcohol base markers. Just color over it. So as you can see, uh, the masking fluid is resisting the watercolor. So let's just let this dry and then we'll color the, uh, the rest also. Just color this off cam. Okay, so for the moment of truth, let's check this if it's okay. For the first one. So, I think I missed that spot. So it's not a perfect one. For the water base markers, the zig. I think it did not change much for the color of the zig. It did not affect much the color of the zig water brush pen. So let's now check for the alcohol base markers. Okay, the color did not budge also. You just have to make sure that you've completely sealed some parts. So I have missed some part here. So I think I'll color it later. So I think this went well. So it, can, it did not destroy or it did not affect the color of the Copic markers and the Sig 
real water brush markers. This is for the water cold press. Next is for the mixed media paper. We'll now try to remove this also for the moment of truth. use plastic eraser here. So, there's a seeping through of it for the mixed media. We'll try the water base. I'll try to use an eraser. To remove it. No, it's better to use your fingers. Turned out pretty nice. Now let's try the Bristol Smooth. Also the same. Let's remove this. Okay, I think I missed a spot there. So for the water base markers. Oh, for this one, I think there's a little lightening of the color uh, for the bristol smooth oh there's tearing already little tearing and lightening of some of the co original colors ah. oh we have some tearing for the Crystal smooth water base for the alcohol. Mm, it's better. So I think there's tearing for the Bristol smooth paper compared to the watercolor. This will work well with watercolor paper and also with mixed media paper. I think the the masking fluid work best with the mixed media paper for bristol, bristol smooth it kind of tears a little part of it so you have to be very careful for the bristol smooth paper so here are all the tests that we did for this masking fluid Hope this video helped you with in deciding if you want to purchase the masking fluid or not. So what are my thoughts about this uh, Graphigum masking fluid? I think this is a thumbs up. Uh, for only 300 plus pesos, you can have 75 ml already. And it works well with watercolor paper mixed media paper for bristol smooth slightly you have to be very careful apply a thin layer or a medium layer of the masking fluid to avoid uh, tearing of your base paper in applying you can use silicone brushes i got this from uh, Shopee, I'll put the link down below for the Shopee shop where to find this. And if you don't have a silicone brush, you can use the uh, ordinary paintbrush as much as possible. Try to use a paintbrush that's old already, not a brand new one. Because this can destroy your uh, paintbrush. To prevent, to prolong the life of your paintbrushes, I, you can wet your brush and then use... Uh, Use, uh, put a little coating of, of soap into your bristles and then you dip it into your masking fluid. 
when you try to work with this open your windows because the smell is very pungent but it's not very disturbing naman so i think this is worth it you should buy, buy this for your craft projects and your art projects thank you for watching bye bye